You might have seen this all over the news. Scientists at Colossal Biosciences announced they had brought back the ancient direwolf after 10,000 years of extinction, and as a result, adorable videos of these three wolf pups, Romulus, Remus, and Khaleesi, have been all over the internet. If you're like me, you're probably thinking that we might finally be able to get our hands on our very own direwolf. But unfortunately, as it often is in the world of science breakthroughs, it's not quite that simple. These so-called direwolves were created by extracting DNA from a 72,000-year-old direwolf inner ear bone and a 13,000-year-old direwolf tooth. By analysing them, scientists were able to sequence more of the direwolf genome than ever before, and using this, they identified key genetic differences between direwolves and modern grey wolves, the direwolf's closest living relative. Then, with cells extracted from a grey wolf, they used CRISPR to edit 14 different genes at 20 different sites in order to express specific traits that are characteristic to direwolves, such as larger body size and distinct fur colour. These edited genomes were then implanted into a grey wolf egg cell and were carried by domestic dog surrogates resulting in the birth of the three pups, which is an incredible feat, but one that internet nerds are slightly up in arms about as to if these are in fact real direwolves. The grey wolf and the direwolf diverged as species roughly 5.7 million years ago, which for context is a similar time frame to when chimpanzees and bonobos split. The two species would likely have millions of differences to their genomes, so ultimately it's a big stretch to say only 20 changes to the grey wolf's genome, no matter how selective, could create a direwolf. So here we're kind of arguing over the definition of de-extinction. Through selective breeding and genetic engineering, can we create a species that closely resembles their ancient counterparts? Yes. Is it a perfect genetic copy? No. But when we find genetic material, we usually find fragments. Finding a complete genetic map of an extinct species might just be impossible, so this may be as close as we ever can actually get. And obviously that isn't to take away from the fact that the work behind this announcement is an amazing feat of genetic engineering, but it's not quite bringing back an actual species from extinction, more like a wolf in dire wolf's clothing. If you like science and spitting on the graves of our ancestors by bringing back all of our natural predators, follow for more.